sorry. Oh, it's okay, really. Don't pay any attention to them. They're just cranky. It happens when you're old. The important thing is you made a nice gesture, and we really appreciate it. <sighs> Think about it. You went out of your way to show us around your town. Your heart was in the right place, so we feel like we've been paid back in full. You're now free to go live your life, and you won't have to follow us around anymore. So long! What? That girl was strange. She wasn't too bright, was she? Not really, but she meant well. More importantly, she was beautiful. I wish she'd let me kiss her. Hey, is that all you ever think about? Complete waste of time. At least we won't have to go through that again. Hi, everybody. <coughs> I thought about it, and I feel I still owe you. <coughs> Since I didn't pay you back properly, I've made a momentous decision. I'll devote myself to your welfare from this day forward. <laughs> Welfare would improve with a big smooch. There's your smooch. You know what? My shoulders are tight. How about patting down these muscles? Your wish is my command. Hey! <laughs> Have you lost your mind? I've got tea. Who's thirsty? This looks bad. She'll never make it. No way. Ah, I'm being born like well, a man was predictable. I'm so sorry. Please, sir, wipe yourself off with this. Just what I'd expect from a country bumpkin. Uh. Hey, this stinks. What is it, a filthy dish rag? You gave me an old used dish rag to clean myself off? I'm sorry, I grabbed the first rag I could find. I see. In that case, take it back! Did anyone ever tell you you're a walking disaster? Oh, from time to time. What the heck? Accidents can happen. Some people deserve what they get. So if you're finished, can I get that kiss now? I'm sure you're sorry, young lady, but in the interest of self-preservation, I can't have you anywhere near me. I consider my life to be in mortal danger if you're even in the same room. I need you to be 30 feet away from me at all times. Got it? Any closer than that and I'll consider it an act of war. Yes, sir. That was harsh, old man. I am not an old man. And what am I supposed to do? Wait until she puts me six feet under? I'm not upset. And I'm not going to get discouraged because of one old grump. Na na na. I'm going to show them my appreciation whether they want me to or not. I know a few tricks. <laughs> they think I'm just a waitress, but they're going to find out I'm a whole lot more than that. Time to use the supernatural powers of the Raw Clan. All set, here we go. Those people don't know how talented I really am. Time to vanish. All right, one, two, three, go! <laughs> now that I'm invisible, I can approach them and then determine the best way to show my appreciation. They're all together which makes it easier to find out what will make them happy. Oh. <gasps> that lady's come back. Uh. Oh. Hi, Zola. Did you find what you were looking for? Yes. What happened to Appreciation Girl? Uncle Grumpy over here chased her away. I must have made a good impression on somebody. Yeah. What a way. She was so kissable. Talk about a one-track mind. <sighs> I was perfectly within my rights. I'm the one she was trying to make go boom. Nobody's ever died from a dirty rag. So what happened? Hmm? How did she show her appreciation? Oh, a little of this and that. That girl was the most dangerous opponent I've ever faced. I thought I was a goner. Horrifying. Oh, no. She wasn't trying to really hurt you. So it's okay to beat me with a mallet, burn my head, and poison me? That's fine. She meant no harm. If I see her, I'm gonna run before she gets her hands on me! What? Huh? Who? Where? That'll show him. It's not nice to talk about someone when they're not around. Now, to find a way to show my appreciation. Huh? Of course! That should work! Now that you have a moment, how did you guys really want that pretty girl to show you her appreciation, Marl? Huh? 
Did I just say something? There's no need for her to show her appreciation. I just did what I thought was the right thing. I thought that boy was cool, and this just proves it. Of course, it was really Zola who chased those guys off. Meaning what? No, no, this isn't helpful. The two of you stop fighting Mezo. Huh? Mezo? It wasn't me. Why are you looking here? I didn't say anything. Maro. Oh, Maro. What is the matter? Well, I feel like there's something nearby, but I can't quite grab it. Maro. Uh, That's a relief. <laughs> Well, I'm sure that girl wanted to repay you and make you happy, but she didn't understand what you want. At this point, I don't think there's anything that will satisfy you except getting better at using your powers in battle. Absolutely. That's right. I want to become a great warrior. So that's it. What these guys really want is something to challenge them on the battlefield. Hey, Zola, how about taking us out and giving us some fight training? Very well. Wow! Impressive! Time to get moving. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. What's this? A band of travelers riding through my countryside! If you want to pass, you'll have to accept my challenge. What is that thing? It's not a shadow, Maro. Well, whatever it is, we need to defeat it. I'm with you on that one. Wait a minute. You're pretty brave to face me without letting yourselves be overcome by fear. But be warned, young warriors, your courage will be no match for my strength. That means nothing to me. I've taken down bigger monsters than you. That's right. We're a lot stronger than you think. What's going on? Did you summon me here just for this boy? You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> oh, come on! What are you three, whiners? We have an enemy! Just fight it! You're a little ahead of yourself. I haven't completely decided whether I'm going to accept you yet. Oh, is that right? We'll accept this! <laughs> okay, this isn't quite going the way you thought it would. They